date. Um, or sorry, I made a mistake when I installed this uh, pivot plate. The HA4642 pivot plate for Johnson, uh, my Johnson 1982 90 horsepower. As you can see in this figure, the screw is actually um, lock the pivot plate into this rod from the motor the second hole it's not as easy to see this from the actual motor so I actually missed it uh, when I tried to install this the first time so I install this plate onto the first hole instead of the second hole so that caused this black cylinder in the middle this black cylinder in the middle it could not slide all the way to the left and all the way to the back because it got stuck um, almost towards both ends so you got to be careful I mean don't look at this one this one has three holes but this is not my motor my motor is the Johnson 90 horsepower which is like every other Johnson and every in between 1977 and 1990 and uh, in this um, motor rod there are two holes you're supposed to screw this plate this HA4642 plate onto the second hole um, in order to be able to make this hydraulic start hydraulic system HK4200 A-3 okay um, so that's one tip from me to you okay. so, uh, putting a hydraulic system in, onto your motor to make your boating uh, even easier because the steering hydraulic steering is a lot easier to steer especially when turning the boat. Okay. Uh, thing we notice uh, this hole should, this, this adapter should go into the second hole on the, on the uh, tail rod or this, this uh, prodding tube. So um, it's very difficult to uh, both ends. So now we're taking out the two ends and then trying to install uh, this onto the uh, second hole uh, this, uh, and uh, the other thing is the tube this this adapter pivot t uh, adapter is actually hooked up to the second to the second uh, screw in the back and um, you know so you can see now lock that down lock this down lock this down. now uh, the motor can turn according uh, to This hydraulic. So now we're just trying to connect this, uh, these tubes, um, these tubes uh, back to the front, the helm. Okay.